everyone, it's Emily here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would bring you guys to London with me and Josh for a little come shop with me. I am actually filming this intro after we've been to London because I really tried to film it before we went but it was just way too noisy. We had builds in the house, we're having a wall knocked through because we're having our kitchen redone, which is really exciting. The difference is made to our house already. It's crazy, but honestly, it was just way too noisy to film the intro. So I'm filming it now for you guys, but I know how much you enjoy the Come Shop With Me videos. So I thought I'd go to London for a few reasons, actually. I wanted to go to get a little bit of inspiration for not just my Christmas wish list, but for Josh's, for what to get for my friends and family. So that's the first reason why I wanted to go. The second reason being is that it has been all over my social media about the Battersea Power Station. They've completely transformed it. They had a huge renovation. There are loads of shops there, particularly the Zara. So yes, did I drag Josh all the way to the Battersea Power Station with the main intention of being to go into their brand new Zara? Yes, but I thought I have to bring you guys along with me for the day to London. And I also bought a few things. So I have a haul for you at the end as well. So if you do enjoy watching today's video, then please remember to leave it a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. So let's jump straight into today's video, which is a come shopping with me for the day in London. So guys, first stop is Zara at Battersea Park because it's literally been all over my TikTok how good it is. So I've dragged Josh to the outside of London and first stop is Battersea. I've probably already inserted some clips around the actual power station. It is so cool how they have done it all and there are so many more shops coming soon. But I thought we'd go, it's nice and quiet and yeah, it was so nice fun. So let's show you some of the stuff in Zara and hopefully find a few things that I like. So I really like this. It's kind of like a massive oversized brown beigey hoodie. It's from their autumn winter 2022 collection. And I think it has matching trousers to go with it also. Really like this coat until I saw the price tag. I didn't realize that Zara did um, things that expensive, but yeah, this coat is so so nice but i don't know if i would spend i don't know if i think 350 pound i could justify spending that they've even got underwear displayed out everywhere and honestly i'm loving the pampas grass but this is probably my favorite out of all of it but i don't know if the boobs i don't know if the boobs would fit in that but yeah i do like guys i love this coat i love and the price point as well 79.99 honestly but if you saw my ASOS haul, I just bought a coat so similar, but oh, obsessed. Okay, so I'm literally 10 minutes into shopping and I've already lost Josh. Literally can't find him anywhere. This always happens. Oh wait, I found him. Honestly, I need to put him in like bright color clothes like my mum does because I lose him. I literally said I've turned around and you weren't there. He's looking at the perfumes. Found any like? Only one. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Honestly, I need. To, I just said I need to dress you in bright coloured clothing or put you in like a bright hat so I can find you because you literally just wander off again. Nice. Yeah, it's only one. This one. I think it's the only one. It smells. The rest of them have got like a like very woody smell. That smells like every after shave you have. Yeah, I know. It's probably why I like it. Probably. So guys, I'm just in the fitting room, so about to try on some clothes. Oh my god, the technology to get into these fitting rooms. Like what? I literally had to stand there, hold my items, and it scanned how many items I was holding and then designated me a room. So yeah, I'm just gonna try on some items and let's see if I get any. We are now on our way up to the bit that I'm most excited about, the home section, because I've never, ever, ever been in a Zara home. Guys, look at the home. Look at it. Oh my god. I am. I'm in love. It smells amazing. And look. It's got a little train. 
It's got a little train running around it. Look at that. Honestly, I'm obsessed and you bet I'm going to be smelling every single one of these. This one, which is chimney, smells so nice. But I've only got a big one. I've only got a big one, but if I had a little one, I would 100% get it because it smells amazing. I love the Christmas candles. How nice. And the little displays. I think you put little tea lights in these, but they're so cute. I want ones to hang on the Christmas tree. Oh, literally. Oh, I love it. I'm getting so excited for Christmas now. So we've left Battersea and we are now at Oxford Circus, just about to go into Selfridges. I only got myself one little thing from Zara and it is literally just, let me just get it out. Just a plain, do you want to hold my camera? Thank you. It's literally just a plain dark gray crop top because I've been really loving grey at the minute, thanks Josh. Um, so, and also I was gonna get a candle and then Josh talked me out of it and was like, no Emily, you don't need any more candles. There was a few that I liked, but they were just, they were over 25 pounds and I was like, I can't justify buying another candle even though they smell amazing. So, we are now at Oxford Circus. We're gonna walk our way down. We're going Selfridges. I mean, my goal is to go in Selfridges and never have to look at a price tag and just get whatever I want. But we're probably just going to do a little bit of window shopping in Selfridges and then just walk our way down Oxford Circus and have a look in any shops that take our fancy, any shops that take Josh's fancy. And yeah, of course, I'll take you guys along with us. <laughs> lights it's starting to get a bit darker now so you can actually start to see all the lights sorry guys i don't really vlog anything in selfridges i've got a bit stage fright i think with department stores especially somewhere like selfridges where it's all very bougie and there is a lot of people i kind of got really scared to get my camera out and vlog but to be honest the only reason i really went in there was to have a look at all of their beauty stuff as well as louis vuitton josh come back so we literally went into the louis vuitton section and i went i like that bag i like that bag i like that bag i like that bag honestly the bags i had in louis vuitton just a little hint christmas too expensive i know but yeah and then we went and had a look in the christmas section and i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit disappointed maybe that's because in my childhood we literally used to go to harrods and they'd have the whole whole floor dedicated to christmas like literally the whole top floor and selfish has probably had about what 10 by 10 meter probably yeah dedicated to it like if that. not a lot so a little bit disappointing but yeah let's go have a little a little mood. I'd like to go to the white company because we saw a few things that we liked. If there even is a white company, I'll have a Google. But um, we saw a few things that we liked in Vista. So I thought maybe you'd go in there and see what the rest of their Christmas decoration stuff is because you liked some of the things that your mum didn't use before. White company, the uh, diffuser. Diffuser, it? Yeah. yeah. And I really liked it. So maybe, maybe a little Christmas idea. So yeah, let's bring you guys along and let's hope I don't get any more vlogging stage fright for the rest of this video. As you can see, it is all pitch black. So look at the Christmas lights. It's all up in London now. So we're gonna make our way, I think, to Carnaby Street. Then we're gonna walk the rest of Oxford Circus because I want to go in Wittard next. And then we're gonna finish with- A pint. A pint and a massive, the massive Primark in Oxford Circus. But yeah, look. Look at the Christmas lights in London. Christmas is only here. We've made to Carnaby Street and the lights have not disappointed. Look at the lights. They've got the Queen lyrics up again. There, but honestly, obsessed. So we're in Wittard and free hot chocolate. I don't like that one. It's like, 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 it's like,
No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't like that one. And you've already got this sticky thing you put in. It's nice. It's nice, but you told me I'm not allowed to buy you any no, Christmas. No, no. Every Christmas I buy drops some because it's not Christmas that with hard. Just left with hard, and honestly, that is my like go to Christmas shop. I always buy. My friends, my family, Josh as well has a little stash. How many hot chocolates do you think you have from me? Maybe from nine, Wittard. Nine different ones. Nine right? different chocolates. <laughs> honestly, I love Wittard. And honestly, the free samples as well, so you always get to try what you all the hot chocolates before you buy them. You try some of the cookies. The cookies are nice, weren't they? Yeah. One of the biggest fans, as you could tell and see by the Turkish light one, but we're not we're big not Turkish no, light no, fans, no. but the sticky toffee pudding white hot chocolate they had yeah, nice. we've had that so we've bought that one so many times i've got it at home you still got it on at home yeah. oh my god i love that right we are now walking to Mall's primark and that is our last stop before we go home of course we had to come straight down to the home section first the queue was honestly huge upstairs wasn't it we definitely won't be queuing on that floor they were literally clearing out almost the exit but i've really found some stuff that i absolutely love so of course it is christmas related i honestly cannot wait to start hosting christmas when i'm older these little like napkin what are they called like napkin rings that's it are so cute so they've got little pine cones and hollies and berries and then they've also got the little stars honestly love that josh is reading a cookbook what is it the three in green and bacon that's quite cool. It's quite cool. What are you looking at? Irish scones, giraffe. I've never heard of them. Bubbly beer breads. That sounds a bit more like you. I kid you not, gonks follow me absolutely, absolutely everywhere. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Seventeen pounds a light up cottage. So that's what it would look like. I love that. And then what is this? A woodland forest winter woods. Last eight roots diffuser. <gasps> Oh, I'm loving some of this. Oh, I really like this. It's not that soft, Josh. Do you want to touch it? It's a chunky knit throw. No, is it still too soft for you? Oh, I really like that. 30 quid as well. What a bargain. I bet that is absolutely huge, but Josh doesn't approve. It means I can't get it. I mean, two things I love the most. It's Christmas. And it is Disney. Literally, you have a Christmas wreath, Christmas baubles. How cute. I'm on the fence whether to get this. How much did yes. you say it was, Josh? Six pounds. But I feel like I could get one maybe a little bit bigger and a little bit more like sticky out. But if you want a little tree for the side of your bed with some little fake snow, Primark's the place to come to. Guys, look at this. I think it's a salt and pepper shaker, but it's a body shape. I wish I could find the other one. That would be going straight in my basket for my home if I'm gonna get one. <gasps> They've got Christmas hoodies. Should we get matching ones, Josh? No. Touch that. No. Touch it. No? So as you can see, it's a few days later, but I thought I'd jump on here and show you guys exactly what I got from my little shopping day out in London. I mean, I went with the intentions to have a little browse. Maybe it would spark some ideas or things to put on my Christmas wish list. But did I leave as clueless as I went there? Yes. I still have not really much clue on what I would like to put on that wish list. But anyway, there is still time. But anyway, I thought I would quickly show you some of the items that I bought. I bought something from Wittard, of course. I bought some stuff from Primark and I bought some stuff from Zara. So I already showed you guys something that I got in the battery. I only got one item, but I did go to the one opposite the Primark on Oxford Street and grab myself a few more things. Very much staple items for my wardrobe so let's jump in as i already showed you i got myself a lovely little cropped gray in a size extra small lovely quality such a staple to wear basically any trousers and it was seven pounds 99 i also wanted to get myself the exact same top in white but they didn't have an extra small at the Battersea one but they did at the Oxford Street one. So again, the exact same t-shirt in white, so staple. I don't own a fully plain 
cropped short sleeve top so now i do again 7.99 the quality of it it feels so soft so lovely and thank god it had my size in the oxford street one i also got myself another one of their staple racer neck bodysuits in the black shade honestly such a staple how much was this one 17 pound 99 but the quality of it you guys know they have been so popular for so many years so i thought i'd grab myself a new one and then finally i saw this scarf when i'd already paid for my gray top at the batty one but i absolutely loved it and then i saw it in the oxford street one and i thought you know what I need to get it it really reminds me of some of those really popular probably more like the designer scarves like the jacquemus scarves the burberry scarves the quality of it it is so lovely and it is of course my staple colors it is these beautiful beigey creamy knitted scarf look at the pattern on it i'm obsessed the quality of it it feels so so expensive again typical me colour is going to go with so many items in my wardrobe it was the most expensive item I think I purchased today I think yeah 25 99 but honestly the quality of it you think it'd be so much more expensive than that and for a staple item that I'm going to wear with so many items in my wardrobe for so many months so many years to come I couldn't resist and honestly it's just being a scarf it's cream it's beige the pattern of it the quality the way it feels oh I love it. Let's just quickly show you my little purchase from Wittard. Like I always say, Wittard is literally my go-to present shop for Christmas. Josh has already told me that I'm not allowed to get him anything from Wittard this year because he still hasn't used up all the things that I bought him in the past. Honestly, Wittard for tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Oh, it is amazing. I honestly love buying my family stuff like that for Christmas. Like, what is Christmas without hot chocolate? Like, come on. And also, because I am a member, every time I go into Wittard, I get myself some freebies. So, I've got myself two. I think these are both coffee bags. Oh, good. Because normally they're teas. I don't really drink tea. But these are coffee, so I'll give these a go. I will try and pronounce them. So, the first one is a dark roast monsoon Malabar coffee bag. I hope I pronounced that right. And then the other one is a medium roast San Augustine, I think I want to say, Columbia coffee bag. So that is the other one. But like I said, it is hot chocolate season. And what I love about Wizard, as you already saw, is they always have free samples for you to try. And I just couldn't make my mind up what hot chocolates I wanted to get myself this time so i got myself a little hot chocolate explorer selection 12 servings 12 fabulous flavors the perfect way to explore the stars of our collection so it's basically i think i can't let me open yeah it basically has 12 little sachets of all the different flavors so let me read out some it's got the luxury luxury white sorry caramel rocky road sticky toffee pudding peanut butter raspberry ripple orange mint cookies and cream creme brulee and 70 percent cocoa i am so excited to try all of these i haven't tried actually all of them in this one so now i'm going to try and if there's one that really really takes my fancy maybe i can try them before christmas and maybe i could ask and put one of them on my christmas list but honestly this is such a good christmas present not just this but like anything from wittard a really good stocking filler something to give to your family to your friends honestly i a hundred a hundred hundred percent recommend this floor last but not least we did a little purchase in Primark. Most of this is going to be, I believe most of this, yeah, is homeware stuff because we are starting to build. We're going to start doing some little Christmas purchases, Christmas home purchases for my bedroom because my bedroom over the last few years hasn't been very Christmassy. I want to do a whole video coming soon where I go homeware shopping again, but this time for Christmas for my room. But I thought we would start off in Primark. So the first item how cute it is a little tea light 
Christmas Santa with a little gold Christmas tree. Honestly, how cute is this? And this was £7. You literally put the tea light in the back and then it will light up. This is going to look so, so cute, even on my dressing room table or my bedside table. I just couldn't resist. And for £7, it's an absolute steal. And then I got myself another little ornament, but this time it's a little Christmas present with a lovely little like velvety felt bow. And guys, £2.50. I mean, how, how could I resist? Again, I could think of so many places to put this, but how could I not get that for £2.50? And then I have been trying to find this non-scented. You know how Primark do a lot of um, different like moulds of non-scented candles? I've been trying to find this one for the longest time. But they never have it because it is so stunning, so beautiful. And clearly that is why it is so popular. But I finally managed to get my hands on the body unscented candle with the lovely like golden leaf wrapped around it this was three pounds again an absolute steal i am so happy that i managed to get this in my basket honestly i'm obsessed and three pounds i had to get it so they're the three home items i purchased and now we're on just to a few accessories the first are just a pack of 12 little clips i think you've got six large ones and six smaller ones for a pound literally for when i have my hair up and i don't want my bangs sometimes using like the little like clips to put them in sometimes doesn't always do the trick so I just grabbed these just for convenience and then you've probably also heard me talk about the fact that when it gets colder, when it gets windier, these little ears are a nightmare. I always have to cover up my ears the colder it gets because otherwise I get the most horrendous earaches. I don't know why, I think it's just because my ears are so small that yeah they're just prone to getting earaches when it gets cold and windy. So I always wear a hat. I try and keep my ears covered and we were literally going to pay. You know how Primark has those little shells, those little like bowls of little last minute things you might want to grab? I literally saw these and I thought let's get them because I've been wanting to grab myself some earmuffs for the longest time and for £4 it's an absolute steal. They are such a lovely colour, of course. Stay so many buttons in colour and they are so soft. They are so soft. So hopefully these will help with the earache situation when I don't really want to wear a hat. I just literally just want to put these on and grab to the shops and know that I'm not going to get an earache when I leave the house. Yeah, so soft. £4, honestly. We love Primark for constantly providing the goods at such an affordable price that I can never resist putting them in my basket. So that is the end of today's video. Today's come shop with me to London. I have really enjoyed filming today's video. So if you guys have enjoyed watching, then please remember as always to leave a huge thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.